All right, everybody, I'm here with a young man right there. And I'm doing this video just because I gotta make best use of my time. I have a lot going on and I didn't wanna type up a super long video. So I'm, uh, I mean, a super long uh, uh, email. So I'm gonna send this video out and I'm gonna get this out in less than three minutes. So all I need is three minutes of your time. So what we're running into is people are being released from prison and they don't have their vital records. And I understand people have high case loads and everything to manage, but what I'm saying is work with us community-based organizations and we can help. You know, we can work together to make it better for people like my brother right here. He did 15 years, 15 years he done. And so he's he got out on August the 1st and they gave him an appointment at the DMV to get his ID on September the 18th. He got out on August the 1st and they gave him an appointment for uh, September the 18th. I have employers who are willing to work with the form, with the uh, returning citizens. I have employers, but there is nothing that they can do if he doesn't have two forms of identification. So what I'm proposing to happen is, since they're not doing the mobile units in the prison anymore, I'm proposing that they set up shop inside the courthouse in the Justice Resource Center. That's what I'm proposing. And they can do this, you know, bi-weekly or weekly or whatever it works out. If staffing is an issue, if funding is an issue, I'm offering my services to make sure that we get the funding to pay for a temporary person with the North Carolina Division of Motor Vehicles. So, you know, I'm not just trying to throw something out there without having skin in the game. I want to be a part of the solution for people like him. You know, he did 15 years. Wow, that's a long time. We spend a lot of time just now in the coffee shop trying to teach him to use a cell phone. You know, we want to see these people like him be successful. He got out. Vanessa James referred him to me. Vanessa James is one of the reentry uh, uh, folks from the NC Department of Commerce, and I've been working with them ever since. And we really need these IDs for the folks who are coming home. And yeah, I believe a, a realistic solution for it would be for us to set up that mobile unit inside the courthouse in the Justice Resource Center, bi-weekly, weekly, whatever you say you can work. But I, I guarantee it would, be, it would be very helpful for public safety for not having recidivism because people are ready to go to work. Um, if we need funding, I repeat, if we need to get funding to pay for these positions, you know, as if the, the D, if the DMV doesn't have the staff to cover it, I'd love to sit down and connect you with some foundations who would gladly fund this temporary solution for COVID-19 response for the returning citizens of Buncombe County. This can be replicated in other counties as well. So I'm sending this video and I do thank you for your three minutes. Sorry if there was any confusion. I had had a, a quick conversation with a couple of different people about what I was wanting to do. So I'm not trying to just throw nobody in there, but I am trying to move on it because I hear these people's heart crying when they are getting out and they're wanting to do right. Y'all have a blessed day.